Okay, continuing with our coverage of Ajax, now we're just going to do a small refinement to our previous example program, which reads a plain text file and inserts the content using the DOM technique into our page. So we're looking at the code here in Dreamweaver. Uh, it's pretty similar to what I had before. Uh, the first thing that I do is now I'm going to create the request object as a variable, and I've added this code which will conditionally create the XML HTTP request object based on what kind of browser we have. So most of the modern browsers are going to use this here. And then if we have some older versions of IE, they use this uh, Microsoft ActiveX object. Uh, curse current versions of, old, of IE use the uh, modern approach as well. Okay, so again, this is fairly old, but this will make it work for different browsers. Um, the request is the same, but now we're going to make it asynchronous, and it seems like there's two syntax for this. So you might recall in the previous one, I had false here for asynchronous. So you can put true in here. And it seems like if you don't put anything, it defaults to true, and that's the async. So uh, in the example that I was looking at, they didn't bother to put true in there. Now, one of the things that's going to happen is because it's asynchronous, uh, it doesn't return right away. So we have to create a function that kicks in uh, as an event handler when it returns. And that function is part of the request object. It's called the on ready state change. So you can see here, I have this function definition uh, that's going to kick in when the on ready state change event fires. And that fires uh, as a result of the communication between the browser and the server. So what we're looking for is for this to be a success. And basically, uh, ready state will be four. That means that it did a successful uh, return. And then the status will be 200. And that status is the same for the HTTP. So, you know, the dreaded 404 file not found. Well, 200 is OK. And uh, you don't really need to use the triple equal signs here. The one demo I found had them. Also, uh, this code will work fine without these extra parens. Uh, again, the demo that I was following seemed to uh, use those. So you can simplify this a little bit here. So basically, when the ready state change method happens, uh, this might, for instance, be 2, which indicates that it's still downloading the data. But when it finally comes through and it checks and it set the 4 and 200, that means that the request worked. And then, uh, oh, you know, I forgot to show you the console last time. Uh, I'll try and do that this time. So what this does is the console is going to uh, show our object so we can inspect it. The rest of the code is the same. We get the quote, uh, quote display element. And, uh, and then uh, we set the uh, inner HTML of that element to the response test. And then here, this send triggers the uh, request. So it actually sends the request to the server. And then this kicks in when the function returns. So again, let's take a look at this. And uh, this one doesn't seem to work locally. So I've set this up on UC file space already. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it here. Let's see. So yeah, that's the right one there. So let me just reload that again for you. Also, let's quickly go to the developer console here. Uh, so this is Chrome, Tools, Developer Tools. And uh, I want to go to the console here. And there's the request object. And this is what I wanted to show you. It shows all of the... the uh, internal fields of the request object and there you can see the uh, data that I read from the text file and notice this is saying response text rather than response XML so this is text and that's uh, it happens to have text that has markup in it as you saw 
Okay, that's good for our second video, I think. These are going to be pretty short, it looks like, because I've kind of pre-coded them to make sure that they work and everything. So you don't have the benefit of watching me flail around like I usually do.